We humans need to stick together. Yes, me lord. More lumber is required. Righto. You require my assistance? Not enough, man. Wait till you see me about. What is Job it now? done. Job done. Get on it. You require my assistance? So today we're going to be building something I haven't done before personally, and that is an open frame gaming PC. And this frame here can be had off AliExpress, and it doesn't come that cheap. And when I got it, I was kind of like, whoa, that's actually a pretty small box, and it's not a whole lot of case. You wouldn't think, okay, that is a PC case, but apparently it is, and we're gonna build it with the instruction manuals that do not come in English. So just two little pieces of paper, and I have to figure out the rest. But that aside, we have a build here that's got a bit of a mix of components, some that I've pulled out of a trade-in PC, others that I have been, someone uh, donated this thinking it was faulty in terms of a surge protection on, but it was actually their motherboard when I spoke to them about it. And then we've got here a 120 gigabyte SSD and an i7-870 with a motherboard that was in a uh, dumpster pullout that I got in a heap of cases with just rubbish. Some of these motherboards had a heap of bent pins. This one had a few bent pins, but I bent them back. And then we've got eight gigabytes of DDR3 memory. Now this build is going to be for a special game that I hold to my heart, and that is Warcraft 3. And they've remastered this game, and I've seen the reviews online, people are saying it's terrible, but I really uh, need to get back into this game. I used to love playing it, and looking at the specs, they're saying that this thing really doesn't need a whole lot at all. You could run this thing on like a rotten potato. That's how easy it is to run apparently, but of course, since I want the highest FPS possible in this old school game, and I'm hoping the graphics are remastered a bit, I'm uh, thinking this build should be perfect for the job, but there's only one way to find out, and that is to put it together and see if there's any problems. And if there isn't any problems, then we'll start installing Warcraft 3. But before that, we'll quickly put the build tally up here for you guys, and then we'll get to building. Now, one thing about graphics cards like these, this is a GTX 780, and if you can find someone that's upgrading their PC, a lot of the times you can get a free part off them, especially if they think it is faulty. And in the case of this GTX 780, someone sent it in thinking it was indeed faulty when it was actually their motherboard that was faulty and not the graphics cards. So if your friends are upgrading their PCs and they've got parts that they just don't need anymore and they're gonna give them away, then definitely take advantage of that depending on where you live in the world.
And here it is here, actually after a few hours of completing this build, we finally got it finished and we've got to power it up now to see if everything's smooth. But one thing about this case is it's so tedious because you've got to get all the little spaces right between the motherboard spacing and the manual is I like, I don't even know why they included the manual because there's parts in here that aren't there and then there's parts missing and even the sheets just like got these six steps that just say nothing in between. So what I had to do was go look at the original picture online and then just reverse engineer it and then put it together that way. And so we've now got the build, it's all complete. And I gotta say it is pretty firm, it's all in together, but we still got our IO shield here. Hey, I'm an IO shield. I'm still attached. Not for long. What ails you? What is it now? Is my aid required? Coming through! Get on with it! Give me something to do! You Wait require till you my see assistance? Me in Aye! I want him through! What is it now? Wait till you see me in action! Brilliant! Well? Hmm? Get on with it! Give me something to do! Put him away! I'm coming through! Brilliant! Hold him away! Not enough, man. What Wait till you send me a man. Well? I... Hmm? You require my assistance? Hmm? Get out of it! Wait till well? you send me an action! Get out of it! Give me something to do! Be quick! Give me something to do! Hmm? Wait till you send me an action! Not enough, man! Hold him away! You require my assistance. My mine is running low. You require my assistance. Hmm? Wait till you send me a match. Get on with it. Our hero has more ails you. Require my, my assistance. Aye, sir. Job done. And so we're just about to start testing out Warzone here and we can see right up in that top corner, we're getting like 30 FPS. This is so desirable for your frame rates. I mean, the human eye can't see more than five FPS anyway. So this is just totally perfect for our gaming experience. Uh, let's give this a shot anyway and see 
how it performs in Warzone. I mean, it's gone up to 60 already, so that's a good sign. Hopefully, if we can get 60 FPS out of this thing, and it doesn't stutter too much, then it should be okay. Storm, Earth, and Fire, heed my call. And now we've just finished testing up this PC with Warcraft 3 Reforged and also decided to test Call of Duty Warzone mainly because that's the, when you go to flip the PC, people just wanna know how it performs in Warzone. Can it run Warzone? So first of all, yes, it can run Warzone around 60 FPS at 100% screen resolution 1080p low settings, which was quite surprising. It did quite well and it was very smooth in order to do that. Of course, you could drop the render resolution play with a little bit higher FPS, but for what it's worth, 60 FPS, a smooth 60 FPS is always a good thing. And this PC did provide that even without the ability to overclock the memory or the CPU. But then we move on to Warcraft 3 Reforged. And I was actually surprised here because I thought this thing would be able to do like 240 FPS, but it didn't. It only went up to around 112 average, I think, after I did a massive benchmark on it. And even then the 0.1% lows were like really low, but I noticed that only happening when there was major event changes in the game. So say for instance, you go from your normal gold mining to your low upkeep, and that is when you build enough units, your population goes over 50, you then drop down to mining seven gold. And when that happened, I noticed the 0.1% lows dipped a little bit, but in battles, it was very smooth. The graphics seemed to be a lot better than the OG version. But that being said, I mean, I can see where the negative reviews are coming from. They're charging uh, like 45 Aussie dollars just for pretty much the same game that I paid for all those years ago, uh, just with a re-slapped uh, on texture pack and higher resolutions. That's kind of what it feels like, but I still really enjoy this game. And one thing that comes out of Warcraft 3 Reforged is, is that this is how like really good RTS games were designed and I really miss it. I, I absolutely love this game. I love the original Brood War and just playing it again brings back the feels. So despite the blizzard tax on this game all these years later, it did play quite nicely. So maybe a lot of those negative reviews were when the game was first released and it was quite buggy and it was crashing because I didn't really experience any problems while I was playing this game except the 0.1% lows. But again, this hardware isn't the best to begin with, but I was pretty surprised that the game was uh, CPU demanding, at least in terms of single thread performance. So if you wanna get the at most best FPS out of Warcraft 3, your GPU, you will need a decent GPU if you wanna up the graphics, but you're definitely gonna need a high single thread performance to get the most out of that. So this game, I came in like throwing a few jabs, thinking this system was going to own it, but then Warcraft 3 reforged, had that reforged hammer and did a counter attack. And I was just uh, taken away by I didn't even know. Oh, wait. I just quickly got stunned mid video. Though with all that out of the way, do let us know in the comments section below, are you digging this open air build that we did here with this budget AliExpress case? I mean, the end product is pretty cool. I'm personally liking it. Definitely don't buy something like this if you've got animals or anything that runs around freely and it's prone to, I guess, dropping something or spilling some liquids on it. But other than that, if you've got a quiet area where you are, this thing comes in at a really cheap price point. I think it was like 35 USD. When I got it, I had to pay 10% GST Australian tax. And of course, converting USD into Aussie dollars does raise the price a bit. But for what it's worth, it ends up working out if you're on a budget and you just want a cheap case to get you by, then this thing does everything. You can pick it up all at one time and it holds together. So one thing to keep in mind with this thing, it will take you a while to get your head around, okay, how do I actually build this thing? Because the included instruction manual, when I saw that and I started trying to work out what it was trying to say, I just threw it in the bin. I looked at the final product of the case itself on AliExpress, and then I realized, okay, let's just build it this way. And it ended up working out for me despite parts actually missing from the instruction manual and how to properly complete it. So with all that out of the way, we've got a gaming PC here that's ready to rock and roll. And if you guys enjoyed today's Warcraft 3 Reforged gaming PC, 
then be sure to hit that like button for us. Also, let us know in the comments section below, do you play RTS? If so, what is your favorite RTS game? For me, it's definitely a toss-up between Brood War and Warcraft 3. I love the both of them because there's that dynamic in those games where if you make one little mistake, the game's not over. I feel like in StarCraft 2, you make one mistake, the game is finished. And that's sort of like, that's why I didn't really get into StarCraft 2 that much because focuses a lot more on the micro as opposed to Warcraft 3 and especially Brood War, the micro and the macro balance each other out. And same with Age of Empires as well. I'm really looking forward to Age of Empires 4 where you need that mix of micro and macro and you need to get it on point. So bring me back to those glory days of RTS, just like this question of the day here with another terrible segue for you guys. And this comes from Habeas here and they ask, is this comparison correctly done out of a case? Wouldn't it be accurate to test inside one? I don't have an idea, I'm just wondering. And they're referring to our video where we tested out the Wraith Prism, I'll put the link up here. And actually I really like this question, I picked it out for one reason and that is, depending on who you go to, you're gonna get a different opinion because accurate would be, at least 100% accuracy, would be testing every single different scenario out there, which no reviewer has time for. We can't test out every single case with that particular cooler because we just wouldn't have a life, uh, or we wouldn't even have a video because it would just never get made. But when it comes to an open air test system, I actually personally feel like it's a great middle ground where it's gonna give you better temperatures generally than a really bad stuffy case with no airflow, but at the same time, it's not going to give you as good a result as a case with really good airflow in a push-pull configuration. And so that's why I test on open air test systems because I've always got a correct apples to apples comparison and I can actually relate that to uh, previous data that I've tested in the past. And another thing is too, if something's bad on an open air test system, it's generally gonna be bad in general. So that's the most important thing, at least when we're testing tech, is getting to the recommendation and making sure you guys are getting a good deal or getting at least a premium product if it's an overpriced product for what you're paying for and you're not getting hosed. Anyway, hope that answers that question and I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. If you stayed this far and you wanna keep seeing that content around Tech Yes City, the good old Tech Yes bangers here, then be sure to hit that sub button, ring that bell, and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.